Hello guys, what's up? So today in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the issues and fixes which this game Rage 2 has encountered, which has recently been cracked by Kodaks. So today in this video, we are going to talk about some of the issues and their fixes. We are going to talk about the startup issue fix, clash up not loading fix 1 and fix 2, also black screen slash launcher issue fix, plus there is news on an updated patch which could come from Kodaks as a lot of gamers are facing this issue. So it's due that Kodaks will be coming up with an updated patch to fix all this issue so news on that later on this video first let's talk about some precondition that you should do before installing that you should turn off your antivirus and internet because if they are on then there are chances that some of the important files may get blocked and the game could run into problems so make sure while installing you follow this precondition now with that let's move into our first fix so first issue, startup issue fix. So what you can do to really fix this issue if you are getting that. Now this issue is happening because the game is looking for the wrong graphic card. So for so for this what you can do, you can search for a file named AMD VLK64.dl using the window search bar which is quite simple. So if you find that file, delete it. Now sometimes the search bar doesn't show this .dl file. So what you can do, you can just manually navigate to C slash Windows System32 and find this AMD VLK 64.dll file and simply delete it then restart your system and hopefully your startup issue with this game will be fixed permanently. And don't worry if you have an AMD or an Nvidia graphics card this fix is universal to both the graphics cards so you can try it and, and hopefully this will fix your issue. Now with that let's move into the next issue fix which is a clash up and not loading fix one. So the issue might be with the antivirus or Windows Defender de detecting the game's exe as a virus. So what you can do, you can either disable the antivirus or make an exception for the rage to exe file and the issue should resolve. So that is one way of tweaking the settings and making this game run. And this fix has worked for a lot of users so you can definitely give it a try. With that, let's move on to the next issue fix which is that you have to go to the compatibility tab that is right click on dot launcher file and then you can see a compatibility mode on the property section and then you have to select windows 7 windows 95 and you can try all the options which are given and then save it and then restart your system and then run the game hopefully that will fix your issue and the one tip that uh, if your drivers are not updated make sure that your graphics card drivers are updated because outdated graphics card are literally facing this issue with this game so make sure you update your graphics card driver that is very much important for smooth running and smooth playing of this game with that let's move on to the black screen or launcher issue fix now for that this is the one fix which has like definitely worked in my system too now if you have nvidia graphics card go to your nvidia control panel go to manage 3d settings and set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance so that your particular game gets the maximum performance and one advice is that make sure you play one game at a time that your system you install one game at a time and play that and finish that because if you install multiple game in your system then the power distribution gets divided and so your game can come into trouble so i advise play one game uninstall then play the other game that's the best way of playing and like saving your laptop and also for this fix you can set the texture filtering to high performance so that all your laptop power all your resources are fully dedicated to the game so that your game could get the maximum out of your specification and system configuration so that is the one thing which you should definitely do now let's move on to the major update like what is an update from Kodaks whether they will be bringing an updated patch to fix all this issue or not so the answer is yes they would be bringing it because since the day of the launch of this cracked version gamers are definitely facing issues with the game so they have seen it they are working on it and they will come with an updated patch to fix all this issue so what's the deadline of it when they can come really with this updated fix when 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 so maybe by mid June they can come up that's the that's a long time but yes they are working on it to come up with a full proof patch to fix all this issue. So that was the news about Rage 2 issues and fixes so hopefully I have covered all the issues and fixes which this game is facing. If I have missed any issues and, I have, and if I have not covered any fixes so comment below 
so that I can help you out and I can bring a fix for that issue if you are getting it. So hopefully you like this video, don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe button. It's your subscribe that is driving this channel forward. So keep subscribing, keep playing. Till then we'll meet you in another video. Vlog 39 is coming soon. So stay tuned for that because more update on Mortal Kombat 11 would be on that video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Keep gaming. Bye-bye.